we were in the cup, so hopefully we went. Never mind. Ah, oh, damn it. How many years ago? Oh. Shit. When was that? That was a long time ago now. You probably can't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start again. Right, we're going for real this time. Okay. <laughs> Clearly a young man with one thing on your mind and one thing only though. Yeah, at that stage that's all it was. I remember uh, when I was really young I probably wasn't that into the horses and then uh, I remember I stayed at home one day because I was made out I was sick where I really wasn't and Dad went to the races with one horse and it won and he, we got that much excitement out of it winning. I just started going to the races after that and we didn't get a winner for another 12 years I don't think. But I, I kept going. But um, yeah, after that it was just racing. Over back seat check, here's my sister's a star storming home. Mo two speedy star hanging on. This is win one for John Morrison, you better believe it. Brilliant victory and good young kid gets the winning post first for the first time. That's a highlight today. Life's the beach probably has been a big part of this season really. Um, I started on her as a maid and she done a really good job in a short time to be where she is now. So, um, and Tony's done a great job from where she was a few months ago to where she is now. And yeah, she's a very good trainer, Tony, as we know over the years. And yes, yeah, like she's a lovely wee filly. We can see that she can do a bit of work and finish it off and she can be driven for one run. And yeah, sort of one of those horses that can do a bit of everything in a race and still be thereabouts. Brave, very brave in the Southland Oaks. Very, very brave there. Um, she went a cracking race there, really. And she was still closing in even the last bit as well so um, yeah it was one of those races it's you know like she went a good race and you know over 2.7 she really stuck it out well so yeah we just need the luck and the right draws and things in those big races and yeah when it works out it's all good but yeah she's going good anyway. Over a mile around Cambridge? Don't think it would worry her if the speed was on, um, she can follow speed, she's got speed herself, it's sort of a tempo of races doesn't really worry her too much. She's um, sort of got enough to capitalise, but obviously you still need to get the good trip through the middle and that most of the time in those big races, you've got to be in the right spots. So yeah, I think just as long as she gets a decent trip, she could figure there somewhere. And Life's a Beach could be the horse to get you a group one. What would that feel like on Jules Day at, at Cambridge with the big crowd there wearing the Woodlands colours? Well, it'd be a good feeling, but uh, it's just, Got to get there first, don't you? I suppose that's the main thing. But um, oh, it'll be a good feeling. But I try not to think too much about those things. Just try get there and get the job done. It's the main thing. But um, yeah, it'd be one of those. Yeah, just one of being on a big day like that would be tops, really. I suppose it would be pretty big. I've been really lucky with all the people that have supported me. Like I've got a lot of people that support me, and I only get the reins for 10 minutes or so, and they're the ones behind the scenes that do all the work. 